is 0.135. Let's apply the definition of percent to 128 percent. That's 128 divided by 100. Hundred and twenty eight per cent is one point two eight numerically. Hundred and twenty eight per cent is one point two eight. Let's apply the definition of percent to 0.75 percent. That is, 0.75 divided by 100 is 0 0.0075. That is, 0.75 percent, which is less than 1 percent, is 0 0.0075 numerically. 5 percent is 0 0.05. 8 percent is 0 0.08. 2 percent is 0 0.02. 10 percent is point one. Eighteen percent is point one eight. Twenty two point five percent is point two two five. A hundred and twenty eight percent is one point two eight. And ten point two percent is point one zero two. Notice the relationship between decimals and percents. 22.5 percent numerically is 0.225. The decimal moved two spaces to the left when you converted from percent to its numerical value. 128 percent is 1.28. The decimal moved two spaces to the left. 63 percent is 0.63. The decimal moved two spaces to the left. In order to convert a decimal to a percent, working backwards, we multiply the decimal this time by 100. 0.225 times 100 becomes 22.5 percent. 0.63 times 100 is 63 percent. 1.28 times 100 is 128 percent. The decimal this time moved two spaces to the right when we multiply by 100. Applying our percent relationship backwards, we take the numerical value of 0 0.02 and we multiply by 100. we get the 2 percent. That is, the numerical value of 0 0.02 represents 2 percent. If we look at the numerical relationship of 0.15 and we multiply by 100, we get fifteen percent. That is 
0.15 numerically represents 15 percent. If we look, look at the numerical relationship of 0.634 and we multiply by 100, we get 63.4 percent. That is, 0.634 numerically represents 63.4 percent. If we look at the numerical relationship of 1.28 and we multiply by 100, we get 128 percent. That is, the numerical value of 1.28 represents 128 percent. This is working backwards. If there are 12 girls and 8 boys in a classroom of 20 students, what percent of the class are girls? Twelve girls out of twenty students. Is point six. Multiplying point six by a hundred is sixty percent. 60% of the class consists of girls. If there are 12 girls and 8 boys in a classroom of 20 students, what percent of the class are boys? 8 boys out of 20 students. is point four. Multiplying this number by a hundred gives us forty percent. Forty percent of the class consists of boys. This table represents the mortality rate of passengers who boarded the Titanic. We're going to learn how to read this table. Notice the first row is labeled survived. The second row is labeled died. The first column is labeled men. The second column is labeled women. The third is labeled boys. And the fourth is labeled girls. Various sexes in age groups of sexes, women, girls, men, boys, both survived and died. This table represents the number of which occurred. 332 men survived. 318 